David Kaplan here with a Coors Light Cold Blast Sportsnet Central Update. The Bulls have found the veteran backup point guard they've been looking for. Three-time slam dunk champion Nate Robinson will side with the team according to CSN Chicago.com's Agri Sam. Coming up tonight at 10, our own Jim Miller goes one-on-one. -on -one. Bears QB Jay Cutler, Sportsnet Central. Now, back out to Wrigley with Lennon Bob. Thank you very much, Cap. Take a quick look at our home depot. Well, we're going to have to hang on now. Reed Johnson's anxious to get in there and get a base hit and get this inning started. Started an 8 6 3 double play. And he hits a ground ball that kicks away from Alvarez. I will show you our Home Depot doing more on defense. Watch Starlin Castro, the Cubs shortstop. He comes in and bluffs like it's a double play at second base. Marte had no idea where the ball was until he realized it was out in left center field. By the time he recovers and retouches second base, Cubs are able to double him off at first. He had no idea where the ball was. Starlin Castro didn't help him whatsoever. And a nice replay by Castro to complete the double play at first. An error on Alvarez starting the inning. Castro has doubled, picked up an RBI, and walked. In addition to that nice deke. I didn't notice initially, but Marte did take a peek to home plate, but he did it so late he didn't know where the ball was. Ground ball up the middle, base hit. Johnson's got a hold at second. Q Doba's giving the first 20,000 fans the chance to win free food. If the Cubs get a base hit here in the fifth inning, and they have, fans with a base hit for Burrito's game card win a free entree. All set up for Rizzo. Kick and the pitch. Outside for a ball. The Cubs are leading this game four to two, and they're threatening to get more off Eric Bedard. But the Cubs and the team with somebody up in the bullpen. Jeff Beliveau. I haven't seen anybody get ready yet for the Pirates. Rizzo cranks this one out of the deep right center. Out of here. A three-run homer. Seven to two. Anthony, where would you like your home run pitch? Our BMO Harris pitch track shows it right down the heart of the plate, down around the knees, right where he likes it. Rocket line drive home run to the bleachers in right center field. You gotta love the three run homer. The Cubs with a couple of them one in the fourth, one in the fifth. And they've stretched the lead to five. And now there's action in the Pirates' bullpen. Chris Resop's playing catch.
Curveball strike one and two. Anthony was thinking I can't let little Darwin Barney <laughs> upstage me tonight if he hits a three run homer I better but see Darwin will tell Anthony Rizzo mine went a lot deeper into the bleachers and left than yours did to right it's true hooked in the left for a base hit. To see Soriano finally get some results here tonight. And we had mentioned uh, in his previous two at bats, he hit the ball extremely hard and deep, but not deep enough. Two fly balls to Andrew McCutcheon in center on the track. This time a hooking single through the hole on the left side. Pitching coach Ray Searage will come out, trying to buy some more time for Resop. It's a whole new era at Wrigley Field. Be a part of it with Vineline, the official magazine of the Chicago Cubs. Vineline gives you insider access to all your favorite Cubs from the past, present, and future. Subscriptions start at just $29.95. For more information and to order, visit Cubs.com slash Vineline. Here's a pitch to Baker, fouled back. Just on a curve, two and one. Another foul back to the screen. Remember how this inning started on an error by Pedro Alvarez. It's usually a bad omen for the pitcher. In this case, it certainly was for Bedard. Castro then singled, Rizzo homered. Swing and a miss. That's the first out. When you think about that Alvarez error to start this inning on the Reed Johnson smash to third it was set up because Reed Johnson likes to bunt for base hits and has done so recently so Alvarez had to respect that and play in shallow at third base and this wasn't in a position to handle that hot shot. Base hits center field. Soto on the board. 
comes now with seven hits. That'll be it for the starter Bedard. And it is our Honda call to the pin. It's going to be Chris Resop for Bedard, who went just four and a third, seven two Cubs. The Mazda 3, a top safety pick with uncompromised performance. And now it's even more fuel efficient with available Skyactiv technology. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? Test drive a Mazda 3 with Skyactiv technology today and see why it's the first 40 MPG highway sedan worth driving. Right-hander Chris Risa. Fastball, curveball, changeup combination from Risa. You see his numbers on the season. Threw a scoreless inning on Saturday. Got his first win of the season. Also pitched a scoreless inning on Friday in Houston. And that win on Saturday was his first since September 3rd of last year here at Wrigley Field. So, uh, Bob, we got an email from Greg Altringer from Great Falls, Montana. He and his girlfriend coming to Chicago for the first Cubs game tonight. So excited. She doesn't know if she, that he's going to be proposing in the middle of the fifth inning. So the proposal was on the scoreboard and center, but she was off <laughs> getting beverages. Uh, That's uh, Erica. What a gal. So he's freaking out because she missed the proposal. So will the proposal take place. He looks like <laughs> he's not feeling too good right now. <laughs> if she's willing to make the beer run he ought to marry her right now. <laughs> How could he let her go get. <laughs> yeah. The refreshments when he knew that in the middle of the fifth the scoreboard <laughs> message would appear. <laughs> Darwin Barney with a blue base hit to right. Soriano will score. Eight to two. Barney now with four RBIs in the last two innings. It's just off of the outside corner at 93. Barney can reach it. He'll swing at it. Oh. Dump shot into right field and no hesitation on the part of Pat Listash waving Alfonso Soriano around third to score. We've talked about it a lot recently. Alfonso Soriano looks like he has his legs back underneath him again. He's been running really well. It's a career high four RBIs for Barney. Strike on Mather. 
Cubs were down two to one into the bottom of the fourth. They've scored seven unanswered runs. Cubs Media Relations Department reporting that uh, Anthony Rizzo's seventh home run this month makes him the first Cub rookie to hit seven homers in July since Gene Baker in 1954. Two pitch fastball outside. It's appropriate to mention Gene Baker because uh, he played for two teams in the major leagues the Cubs and the Pirates. He was an all star in 1955 with the Cubs. Can't get it. Deflects off his glove. Nine to two as Soto scores. The hard top spin grounder this time. Alvarez playing a little bit deeper, but still can't quite get to it. Just tips off the leather on into left field for a base hit. These runs charged to Bedard. It's a season high nine runs allowed by Eric Bedard. Germano wants that one back over the screen. This ties a career high allowed by Bedard. He gave up nine runs at Yankee Stadium back on May 23rd, 2008, with Seattle. Eight of the nine earned tonight. Actually hit the plate. And McHenry will throw to first. So the guy who got it started, Reed Johnson. Here's Reed. As we wait, is he out of the game? I wonder if. Hmm. Kind of has the look of. Uh, yeah, sure does. Reed Johnson coming out. Maybe. Uh, well, we don't want to speculate, but it seems pretty obvious what's going on. So somebody will pinch hit for Johnson. It'll be. David De Jesus. We may have possibly seen Reed's uh, final at bat as a Chicago Cup.
Here's De Jesus. Hey, you get the feeling that this was a empty the bench with a big lead move. You'd see Tony Campana instead of Reed Johnson, uh, but it's, since it's David De Jesus taking the at bat, uh, it makes me feel like you're right on about uh, the situation with Reed. Also, just the fact that it took so long didn't have anybody in the on deck circle for a good 30 seconds. So Reed finishes a 90. Actually went 0 for 3, but he scored two runs. He struck out in the first inning. Reached on a wild pitch. Reached on an error here in this fifth inning. And would score on the Rizzo home run. One and nothing to De Jesus. People were surprised that the Cubs hadn't been a big player in terms of all the trades we've heard about over the past week. But I also think uh, every observer would have been very surprised to see the Cubs not make moves here over the final 24 hours. And that process may have started. And we talked about how. Interesting it's been as that ball hits first base. Everything going right for the Cubs. Two runs will score. Barney and Mather. How about that? Eleven to two, a seven-run fifth. As well placed a ground ball as you can possibly imagine. That looked like it was going to be a routine three unassisted put out at first base. The ball hits the bag, then gets away from Garrett Jones. Barney was going to score easily. Mather had held up around third base, but when the ball got farther away from Garrett Jones, even Mather was able to come around and score. Center McCutcheon back over his head into the bushes. A two-run homer for him. 13 to 2. Just a spinning breaking ball at 80 on the inside part of the plate. This pitch doesn't do what it's supposed to. It's supposed to dip down low and away from Starlin Castro. To his credit, he recognizes and absolutely crushes that hanging breaking ball to straightaway center. Boy, they have brought out the big lumber tonight. Well, we don't know if they're engaged, but they're happy about the home run. Nine runs here in the inning. Knocked down by Resop. He'll underhand to Jones to end the inning. Cubs put up nine in the fifth. They stand here at Wrigley Field. 13 to 2. We have more than 3,000 daily flights on Southwest Airlines, and that gives our customers thousands of options to fly where they want, when they want. Now is the perfect time to fly to our sunny Florida destinations. Visit Florida from Midway, starting at $129 one way. Book all of our destinations online, only at southwest.com.
Crushed cold. Filtered cold. We chilled down to 34 degrees. We didn't invent cold. We bottled it. Frost brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. What's that green stuff? It's yummy avocado. A superfood. Superfood? Would it give me laser vision? Will it give me super strength? Will I be able to fly? Oh, I want to fly. Oh, I don't know. I want to fly. Listen! It's super good and it's super mine. Super precision. Super and called for. Super stingy. Get your own Subway turkey with avocado or add this superfood to any sub. It's avocado season only at Subway. Tomorrow, tune in as Dunn and the Good Guys gear up for an AL Central showdown with Morneau and the Twins at Target Field. Don't miss a division rivalry driven by Mazda. White Sox, Twins, tomorrow night at 6.30 on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans, best friend. Busy night <laughs> tonight. Well, she missed the scoreboard proposal as Greg finally in person proposed to Erica and apparently she said yes yeah. after the uh, nine run fifth. <laughs> yeah I'll propose when the Cubs score nine runs in an inning. Congratulations to Greg and Erica from Montana. What a night at the ballpark huh. The Jesus into play center after pinch hitting for Reed Johnson. And rookie lefty Jeff Beliveau in for Justin Germano is trying to get his first win as a Cub and his first in the big leagues since 2007. Leading 13 to 2. A nice job by Germano under the circumstances. Came exactly as advertised. A variety of off speed pitches that he commands around the edges of the strike zone sneaky quick at times with his fastball and kept the ball in the ballpark. Pitch to McCutcheon. Ball one outside. Cubs president of business operations, Crane Kenny, said, to Come on down. It's worth a seat upgrade, I would say. <laughs> What did you say? Great Falls, Montana? Beautiful, yeah. beautiful country up there. That's where I played rookie ball for the San Francisco Giants about a million years ago. Shank foul off to the right, two and two. Well, what an outburst for the Cubs offense. Twelve runs over the last two innings. Eight of them coming on home runs. Barney and Rizzo, three run shots. Castro, two run homer for his tenth. Up the middle. Ooh. Wicked hop and it goes right to Castro. Save. Oh. At eight up Barney. I think Darwin's all right. Castro had the presence of mind to play that ricochet and he almost got McCutcheon. Boy, bad hop. Catches Darwin in the right shoulder. He had no idea where the ball went after it struck him, but it deflects right to Starlin Castro who makes it a close play at first with a speedy runner out of that batter's box. Oh, what a heads up play by Starlin to stay with it even though they weren't able to get the out at first.
Jones couldn't hold up. 0 and 2. Three teams have gotten into double digits so far tonight. Cubs with 13. The Padres have scored 10 times at Cincinnati, leading 10 5 in the seventh, and the Angels with a 15 7 lead late at Texas. Barney will get the out at second. That's it. In honoring Ron Santos induction into the National Baseball Hall of Fame Louisville Slugger has just released a limited edition full size Ron Santo Hall of Fame commemorative bat get yours today at bigtimebats.com or by calling 866 280 bats. The knees on Neil Walker hitting right handed against the lefty Bellavo. Now they can't get it. Castro does a little bobble, nowhere to throw it. Should be a hit. For Walker. The two hits in the inning now Alvarez. How about the job Justin Germano did tonight? Five innings, four hits, two runs. You talked about it in the open, not overpowering. There is such a thing as a crafty righty. He would fit in that category, doesn't throw hard, but kept the Pirates to just two runs and watched his team slug some homers. Manager Dale Swain was talking about his arm speed really selling those off speed pitches and that's exactly what we saw from Germano tonight used his fastball sparingly around the edges of the strike zone through strikes with a slow curve ball and occasional straight change up with the same arm speed that he had on his fastball. That one gets by and the carom almost went over the head of Soto. It's a wild pitch, and they're now three and zero. First time Bellavo. Has pitched at this level and not faced the Cardinals. Late on that fastball, sneaky fast at 91. Oh, 
and the bases are loaded. It's one of those talks that a veteran catcher will give to a young pitcher. Hey, turn around, take a look at the scoreboard. You got an 11 run lead in this ball game. Throw the ball over the plate, let your defense work behind you. Don't stop pitching, continue to try to make your pitches, but don't be quite so careful. It's Tony Watson up in the Pirate bullpen. Henry missed that one by a wide margin. One and one. He's thinking, well, Bellow's got an 11 run lead. He's going to throw me a fastball. Nope. How about a changeup? Yeah, perfectly located changeup with a little movement down and away from the right handed hitter. We've talked about McHenry before. He wants to pull the ball. And that's going to get down in front of DeJesus. One run will score to make it 13 to 3. First run charged to Bellavo in his short major league career. Second RBI tonight for McHenry, 13 3. Base is still loaded. 